And now when the two bodies, when they're not lined up anymore, when they're not lined up anymore, that's when the light starts to increase. Okay? The light from the moon is going to start to increase. So it's going to start to shine, add a little bit of shine to it. So we're not supposed to use the crescent moon. And it just so happens that when you go into ancient Babylon, when you go into ancient Babylon, you see this symbol. You see this. Even with the ancient Egyptians, you see this symbol on top of the bull. All right? And when you go into Islam, on any side, you see a crescent moon, a five-point star. Well, a crescent moon, a five-point star. You see an eight-point star with the Sumerians. Babylonian Egyptians, you're going to see this, which is all forms of worshiping the constellations of heaven, the worshiping the new moon. In some kind of way, this crescent moon being the god or goddess got introduced into our recognition of the new moon. Which what we're doing, we're actually recognizing the ancient deity of how they worship. And we're not recognizing how nature itself has it set up. Okay? We're not doing that. So these are all symbols. Alright? These are all symbols that you see in the east of pagan systems of worship that don't have nothing to do with your house. Okay? And sometimes you'll see a you know, little crescent, just like a little circle. Okay? So these are all different variations of that crescent moon worship. And these Europeans that call themselves Jews got us involved in ancient pagan worship. And also this, going by this, going by the new moon, and then saying seven days after the new moon is going to be a Sabbath, that originated with the Babylonians also. It's the Babylonians that kept the Sabbath day seven days after the new moon. But not the common folk, just the priests and the kings would do it. All right? They didn't observe the new moon as a special day, only seven days after. So that's how it infiltrated into our understanding. Oh, this is supposed to be a Sabbath that didn't originate with our people, with Israel. It originated with the Babylonians. Research it, and you'll see for yourself. We didn't have no, We didn't do that. All right. We didn't. We didn't start the Sabbath. We had seven days, and when the moon came, boom! That was a holy day we worshiped. But the Babylonians said, "Okay, we got a new moon. Now seven days after this, the king and the priests are gonna have a day of rest and a day of worship, and they're gonna chill out and relax. And that's how the Babylonians did it." And when we came from Babylon, if you, really, if you really dig into the crates and look at the research, I guarantee you that you're going to find Israel starting to observe the crescent moon as the Sabbath, I mean crescent moon as the new moon, and observe the new moon as a day to determine the Sabbath. I guarantee you you're going to see that practice in Israel post-Babylon. You won't see it pre-Babylonian captivity. We started doing it after Babylon, which is the Babylonian idolatry influence on our, you know, mainstream culture of Yahshua Allah. Because remember, this was mainstream. This was what everybody was doing. But then you have certain sects of Israel like, nah, the way we did it in Babylon is the right way. The way we did it before Babylon is the wrong way. But right now, since none of us know too much about what was going on before Babylon, we can't really argue or refute it. Okay? So it says the light which decreases, increases uh, wonderfully and they're changing. Okay. Hmm? Oh, no. I, that's, I think that's going to be it for that one. One more we're going to go to after Amos chapter After we're done. Eight. Amos chapter 8. What's up? Hey, uh. Yeah, come on, go up there and stir that stuff for real quick. Did anybody bring rice? I was wondering about some rice. Anybody bring no rice? 
Nobody. Put that. Put the beans on top of that. Yeah, he ain't never yak on. You need to put some water in it a little bit to thick to to the very thick. Mm -hmm. Me too. Can you give me something to drink? Yeah, give me something to drink. All right, so we're in Amos chapter 8, verse 4. Okay. All right, read, please. Hear this, O ye that swallow up the needs. Meaning, hear this, O ye people that's exploiting the people of Israel that need, that are in need. Shemaiah, sit down. Okay, go ahead. Even to make the poor of the land fail. Make the poor of the land to fail, meaning you're making the poor even poor. You're exploiting the person because of their because of their lack of, of material. So you're just exploiting them. You know? Go ahead. Saying, when will the new moon be This is what you say. When will the new moon be over? Read. That we melt that we may uh, sell corn. That we may what? Sell corn. Do what the corn? Sell. So that may sell corn, meaning what? When will the new moon be gone so we can sell corn? So they waited until after the new moon before they would start business again, before they would start selling again. Read. And the Shabbat, that we may set forth wheat. Set forth wheat, go ahead. So the Shabbat. So during the Shabbat, they didn't what? They didn't sell or buy either. They sent forth the wheat to sell. So they didn't sell it on the new moon. They didn't sell it on the Sabbath. So during the new moon, they didn't buy, they didn't sell. They cook, though. You know, they cook. So they, you know, they might, you know, make up some, you know, a frappuccino or a cappuccino or some coffee. <laughs> but they didn't buy it, you know. <laughs> they didn't buy it on the new moon. They would wait until, you know, you know, had their own little Hebrew hookup. You know what I'm saying? All right, go ahead. Making the ephah small. Making the ephah small. What's making the ephah small? What's that mean? Yeah, the ephah is the weight measurement. Yeah. So they'll say, okay, well, you know, I'm going to make the ephah small, I mean, I'm going to start to change the weights on the scale. Read. And the uh, shekel, great. The shekel, great. Shekel is 0.4 ounces is a shekel. Shekel is 0.4 ounces. So what they would do is they would say, okay, well, What's that called again? What's that? Both, both, all these are weight measurements. The ether is a smaller weight measurement. What's that contraction called? Um, this is like a scale. Oh, okay. Okay, it's like a scale. Oh, the ether is a weight measurement. Yeah. So now, this is a, that's a shekel. So instead of it being 0.4, I'm going to jump it up to be 0.5. I'm going to change on it. So I'm going to give you, you think you're getting a fourth, but you, it's really a half now. That's the weight. That's the silver you're giving me. That's, that's the money you're giving me. So you give me 0.4, but what I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you three baskets of this now. So now my shekel is great. So now you think you, you're paying 0.4, but you're really paying me 0.5 for the same amount. So you're paying me more money. In other words, I'm tipping the scale a little bit. I'm saying, hey, so what you want, man? You want three pounds, you want three pounds of, of that um, smoked lamb leg, right? Okay, that's three pounds. So how you been doing all this week? You know, <laughs> pressing my, say, how you been doing this week? So instead of three pounds, you know, it's gonna say, oh, 3.3 three and a half pounds. Okay, so, so you're gonna pay me for three and a half pounds instead of three pounds. So that's like the equivalent of making a shekel, uh, making a shekel. I keep reading that. And falsifying the balances uh, by deceit, that we may buy the poor for silver and the needy for a pair of shoes, yea, and sell the refuse of the wheat. The Lord has sworn by the ex ex excellency of Jacob, surely I will never forget any of their any of their works shall shall not the land tremble for it for this and every